Okay, so we can measure crater sizes. Um, and the most obvious measurement to make is the diameter D, which we will define as the peak to peak distance. So the distance from one edge of the crater rim to the other edge of the crater rim. Um, but another interesting dimension to measure from a crater would be its depth. So we'll call this depth H and it will be defined as the distance between the crater floor and the top of one of the crater peaks. So it might be easy to find the diameter of a crater by looking at images of the moon, especially if you know the moon's overall size, but not so easy to measure the depth of any individual crater. So how do we get that depth? Well, we can use geometry. Um, so if we have the uh, depth of the crater as one edge of a triangle, and we know something about the uh, length of one of the other sides, um, then we can get the depth of the crater. Um, and so here's an example. Let's say that the sun is just grazing over the rim of the crater and casting a shadow. If we know the length L of this shadow, then we can get H if we also know the altitude theta of the sun above the horizon. And the way that we would do this is by using um, a little bit of geometry to find that the crater depth H is equal to L, the shadow length, times the tangent of theta, the altitude of the sun off the horizon. And likewise, we could um, turn this equation around to solve for any of these unknowns. For example, maybe I have an image of a crater and I want to know uh, what height was the sun off the horizon um, when the image was taken so that I can use that image to characterize other crater sizes. I could flip that around and solve for the angle, which would be the arc tangent of the crater depth divided by the shadow length L. Uh, 